Hey crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So I don't think I have shared with you guys yet, but I'm going to be a grandma really soon. I'm super excited. We've got a new granddaughter that's gonna be joining our family later in April. And so I have been doing lots of sewing and thinking about lots of different projects that I could make for our new granddaughter. And so you may see a theme coming up in the next couple months where Lisa's doing some things centered around the nursery or um, a new baby. And so I thought today what I would do is I would share with you some burp cloths that I've been making. There's all kinds of tutorials out there you can look at. Um, but I had so much fun putting this one together for you guys. In fact, I even put together a pattern that will be down below. So make sure you grab that and then you can sew right along with me. So stay tuned. I'm going to join you over at my pressing mat. We're going to be doing a little bit of sewing today. But hey, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. And make sure you click on that subscribe button and click on that bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. Try to do it every Friday. That's why we call it Inspiration Friday. So give me a second. I'm going to get my camera angle change. I'm going to join you over at the pressing mat and I'm going to show you this pattern that I put together for you. And we're just going to get going and making some really cute burp cloths. So let's get going on this project, you guys. And I just want to show you again these burp cloths that I've been working on. And I've just had so much fun with all the material that I picked up um, and making these that I thought it would be fun to design a couple different um, versions. And you see lots of them out there um, on the internet, definitely. But what I've done for you guys is I've put together a pattern and I had to learn how to use Adobe Illustrator to create this for you guys. Um, but what it is, is if you guys um, click on the free download below, you're going to get um, this design and you want to print it out. Now, I print it out at 100%, okay? And I've got three different versions here. So as you guys can see, I've got a rectangle version, I've got a single contour version, and I've got a double contour version. Okay, so depending on which one you want, um, you will go ahead and cut out the pattern. I did put a one inch square, square here, so you guys can double check that the size is exactly the same as what my size is gonna be. So what I did is I printed off um, three different um, prints of this because I wanted all three patterns. And I'll just show you how easy it is. So here is one of the pieces okay and you can see here that this is one piece and this is the other piece and i just put a piece of tape right along there okay and then what i did is i went ahead and i cut out my pieces so let's move these ones out of the way and this is for the rectangle one okay and what i did is i placed the pattern on the fold, so you can see this is where the fold of the fabric is. I placed the pattern on the fold line and I just cut out and around, okay? Now, I am using, it's a type of a flannel, um, really lightweight flannel for my one layer and then I picked up some terry um, cloth at the store. You could also use old towels um, you could use a new towel for that matter, or you could use some fleece. So let's go ahead and cut one out together so you guys can see exactly what we need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see, I've got, this is our double contour one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cut that out. And I've got some fleece for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my roll of fleece that I've got on hand. And I am going to find the fold. And actually, I'm just going to make a fold because I like to use as least amount of fabric as possible. Or, excuse me. Yeah, from my stash, right? Okay. So 
as you guys can see, I've got the fold right here. Let me just stretch that out a little bit more. Okay. And I'm going to place my pattern piece right on the fold. Except for Lisa's got the one, not the one she wants. I'm going to place my pattern piece right on the fold. And see how I've got some extra up there? I really just want to use as much fabric as I need to. Okay. So then what you guys can do is you can grab a couple pins if you want. And you can pin your pattern piece right in place. Now I'm going to cut this out with scissors. You can definitely use your rotary um, cutter for it and put it on a mat. I'm on my pressing pad as you guys can see. So I'm just going to cut that out. And as it says on the pattern piece, we're going to cut two pieces. And it's two pieces of each fabric. Okay, so this is going to be one side of our burp cloth. And I think about this one as the one that's going to be laying against my shoulder. It doesn't have a whole lot of design to it, right? Um, and so we're just going to put that off to the side. Okay. And now I'm going to grab in my other fabric I'm going to be using. And you guys, I picked up so much of this fabric when I was on vacation. So I've got lots and lots of this fabric. So I'm just going to kind of spread it out a little bit here. And again, I just want to use the least, cut into the least amount. So I have lots of room for other projects. This one's so cute. It's got the little puppies on it. Let's see if I've got enough there. A little bit more, Lisa. And I've got my iron handy. And so I'm just going to give this a quick little press. Just because sometimes it gets a little wrinkled. My fleece wasn't wrinkled at all, so... But it just gives for a really nice cut if you give it a good press on there, okay? And so, you guys can see I've got my fold here. And I'm just going to leave that other piece right on there, okay? And then I'm just going to put my pin through again. Just get that in place right on the fold. See how easy that is, you guys? Now I'm really close to that edge, so I just want to turn that up, and yep, Lisa did that. I got that too close to the edge. I don't want to lose any of that ability to cut and make sure I've got both sides there. Okay? Okay, so we've got that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut right around there. And you guys, if you're really good, you could have layered your fabric on top of each other. And you guys could cut this all at the same time, but I like to cut mine each individual. Okay, so now we've got our pattern pieces all done. And you guys, this goes together so quick, okay? So all we're going to do is we're going to open up our pattern pieces and we're going to put right sides together, okay? So with right sides together, I'm going to lay down my pattern piece, okay? Now the one thing we're going to want to make sure we do, and sometimes I use pins, sometimes I use a marking piece, but I'm going to leave a spot open so that we can turn this around once we get done sewing it, okay? And I like to use the pins to mark where we're going to leave it open and then I'm just going to go ahead and clip this and that way when I move over to the sewing machine I don't take the chance of anything coming undone okay so let's go ahead and do I've got each style done out so let me grab the rectangle one just so you guys can see it too okay and this one I've made with the terry cloth and so I'm just going to do the same thing here. They, they all go together the same way, you guys. It's just what version you guys like, um, you know, of the burp cloth. So I thought it would be fun just to have all three of them. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do a pin again, just so I know where I want to leave it open. And this is going to take one stitch going all the way around, you guys, and then we're going to turn it, and then we're going to top stitch it. And that's how easy these burp cloths come together. 
So lots of fun patterns out there. Um, this is definitely a necessity for a new mom. So these are great for a gift idea, for a shower idea. I know one of my sons definitely like to um, spit up quite a bit. So we've got that one done. And then just to show you the, um, the single contour one. And that one has just got a straight side here and it's contoured in right here. And same thing, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one all pinned, you guys. And then I'm going to meet you over at the sewing machine and I'm going to show you how quick and easy these are to put together. Okay, so we're at the sewing machine. I'm going to be using a straight stitch. And I'm going to start, remember we talked about the pins. And so I'm going to start where my pin is at. And I'm going to just use my foot of my sewing machine as my guide. And so I've got my needle. My needles can be placed in different positions and I've got my needle placed in the middle. Okay. So I'm going to put my needle down and then I'm going to back stitch just to secure that stitch. And we're just going to sew all the way around. Okay, we've got our seam all the way around. Let's hop back over to the um, pressing mat. Okay, we're back at the pressing mat, you guys. And remember how I told you we wanted to leave that space open. I probably left a little bit more open than I needed to, okay? One thing I always like to do is I like to make sure that I caught my seams all the way around, which I did, okay? And then I'm just going to trim off just a little bit of this excess. It just helps when we go to um, do the top stitch and the turn. Now, some people will say to clip your edges. I haven't found that I needed to clip my edges with either this fleece or um, with the terry. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this right side out now. Okay. And just takes a few minutes and I like to use my fingers and just kind of push that out. I do have my iron ready you guys and we're going to give this a really good press and then we're going to top stitch it and that's it you guys. That's how easy these guys go together. So see how I'm just using my fingers kind of to press out there a little bit. Okay so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my iron and I just want to make sure that I give it a good, good press. Okay, and you can use a little bit of steam if you want. Okay, my iron turned off on me, so I need to, to warm up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go through and finger pull this out. Now here, where we've got our opening, you guys, I'm just going to, when I get ready to press here, I'm going to make sure that those are turned in, okay, and then we'll catch those with the top stitch, okay, pull that all the way out so it has a nice curve to it, okay, and then we'll add, there we go, now we'll add a little bit of steam, okay, so there we are. So you guys, this is a brand new iron. I have been um, looking at irons and I wanted one that was cordless you guys so this is the uh, Panasonic I'll make sure I put a link down below but um, this is the first time I've used it so far so good I just love not having the cords in the way and I've got my little base right here so I just have that off to the side okay so easy as that you guys now we're going to take this back over to the sewing machine and I am just going to do a really close seam all the way around. And we've got our first burp cloth all done. Okay, so we're back at the um, pressing table. Or excuse me, at the sewing machine. Lisa doesn't even know where she's at. And I really want to pay close attention to where I pressed in that area. So what I like to do is I like to take a clip. And that just helps remind me that when I come around with my stitch, that this is the area that's opened, okay? 
and I'm going to start up here. And now I use the, the guide of my presser foot, okay, um, to determine how my stitch is gonna be. And I'm gonna try to get you guys a little bit closer so you can see that. And so right here on my presser foot, I'm just gonna use that as a guide. That will just give me a nice, even stitch all the way around. And I just take it slow, uh, slow and steady, um, and that way you've got a nice clean stitch going all the way around, okay? And since this is that contour, if you just go really slow and you, can, you don't need to even stop your machine, you can just go really slow and guide your burp cloth around the corners, okay? And then this is just going to give it another layer of security. You guys know how burp claws are. These babies are gonna get washed so many times. to where I started and I'm just going to do a little back stitch. I'm going to cut my threads and that's it. Let's hop back over to the pressing mat. Okay, we're back over at the pressing mat. We have got it all completed. What I do like to do is clip those threads. And then what I'm going to do, you guys, is I am going to sew the other two so I can show you the finished product of each one of them. But look at that. How cute is that little burp cloth? And I'll show you a cute way to put them all together for a gift package. So give me a second. So we got our burp cloths all done, and I thought I would show you the finished product. So here is that rectangle one. And I just love it because it's easy to throw over the shoulder. So that's one of the versions we had. Then we had the double contour where it's coming in on both sides. And that goes across the shoulder. Just nice. I like how these are long enough to cover down because you know how babies are. And then the other one is just got the contour on the one side. So it comes into the neck area really nice. And again, it covers the back, right? So they are just so um, easy to make, you guys. And I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. One more thing I wanted to show you is an idea of how you could put these together as a cute little gift for someone. So I've just got three of my burp cloths done. You can see by my pile over here, I've been sewing like crazy. So just put three of them together, put a cute little ribbon. You could match your ribbon to your material, whatever you guys want to do. Put that in a gift bag with some tissue paper and you've got a present ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this week's Inspiration Friday project, making some burp cloths for that new newborn that might be coming into your life. I'd love to know which one of the versions you like the best and make sure down below that you grab that free pattern. And if you like this tutorial, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you're looking for other DIY type projects, make sure you check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com. Thanks for joining me.